Hello again everyone, this is Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I am thrilled to be joining Altenew today on another one of their monthly releases and today we are going to be celebrating on our hop this washi tape, stencil, and die cut tape release. Now this is just some of the washi tape that they have available in this release and I'm going to be focusing on the washi tape today in the video, so I won't be showing the stencils, but you can be sure to head on over to my blog. The link is in the description and um, you can see all of the products there. So I'm going to first use the new die cut tape and washi together. The die cut tape is a new product to Altenew. This one here is called Bouquet Die Cut Tape, and it's a bit different in that it's more of a sticker than a washi tape. Now you might be a little confused as to what that means and you'll see here as I'm pulling it apart, you can see that it's shiny. The material that it's made out of is a little different, but it is pretty much repositionable. As long as you don't put too much pressure onto it, it will come up very, if you pull it very easily, I found that it comes up without tearing the cardstock, which is great. The size of this particular tape is about two and a half inches by five meters. So you get quite a bit of tape, but it is quite a bit shorter or thinner than an A2 size card, even the width of it. So what I'm doing is, what I think I'm going to do first is just sort of create this focal spot at the bottom of my cardstock. I'm then going to go ahead and take the Calming Bouquet Washi Tape, and this is the same uh, material and type of washi tape that you're used to from Altenew. This is their wide washi. And again, it's pretty repositionable if you're very careful with how you pull it up if you need to. And so I'm just going to take an X-Acto knife and trim around the edges because I want to make sure that I don't have any overhang. I find that when I fold it underneath, it doesn't quite work. I do get a little bit of pulling. So I just like to take my X-Acto knife and trim as close to the edge as I can. I'm going to take a pair of scissors and just fussy cut some of these florals out and I just want to make sure that I stay close enough to the line that you can see the flowers come out together but I want to stay far enough away that I'm not directly on top of the line that way it looks more like a die cut than um, something that I just cut out. As you saw, I quickly decided that I actually want these in the center of the card because it matches this cardstock so well. And I've decided to, in that case, put another strip of this bouquet washi, or I'm sorry, this bouquet die cut tape on the top. And that way it looks like a pattern on my cardstock. I take some press and seal and the only one that they had at the store when I went to buy it last time was this polka dot one, which is fine. Um, I just wanted to let you know why I got the decorative one instead of the clear one. Um, but I'm going to use this to keep everything in place. I'm putting some foam tape on the back and you'll see that I sort of abandon the <laughs> press and seal here. The material of the washi tape just doesn't stick very well to the press and seal. So I would suggest... Uh, just trying to keep it as well as you can on there because it it really doesn't stick as well as a traditional die cut would or like a um, you know like a piece of paper. I arranged these in the center of my card front and used foam tape so they had a bit of dimension. And now I'm going to use the tall alpha dies to create my sentiment and treat those flowers in the center of my card front as sort of like a bed for this die cut sentiment. For my sentiment, I'm using the tall alpha dies and I've cut out the letters that spell thankful. And I've done this in a gold glitter cardstock, which in theory is a wonderful idea and it does look beautiful. However, it is very tough to read on camera. In person, it's legible and there's no problem, but it is tough on camera. So I just wanted to let you know that before I get started. But also what I wanted to point out is that when I have a long word like this with a lot of letters and I'm using separate dies for those letters, I just wanna make sure that I start from the center and head out in either direction. This will just help me space out the letters equally so that say the T and the H don't have a very large space in between and the K and the F have a very small space between. It's all cohesive and looks really nice that way. 
So here is the finished card. I really love the way this came out. Again, it is not this tough to read in person, um, but I really love the way that these two tapes work together. There is another die cut tape that I'm head over heels for in this release, and it is the Vibrant Spray die cut tape. I'm going to do a completely separate video just on this tape very soon, but it's absolutely beautiful. So many things you can do with it, and it's the focal point in itself. You don't need anything else other than this tape on a card, and I just love it. So I wanted to add that picture in here for you. I hope that you've enjoyed the video and seen a few ways how you might be able to use these tapes together or individually. As always, links to all of the supplies are listed in the description, as well as the link to my blog today for the blog hop. Thanks so much. I'll see you soon.